Okay, been working on my bat duplicator, which is an attachment for my wood lathe, which is a pretty simple thing. The router is attached on a track to run up and down the length of the lathe, and it's also on a slide allowing it to move in and out. At the back, you mount the bat between a couple of clamps and the rod at the back of the, the slide follows the profile of the bat as you move it along the slide. Pretty simple. It just goes along. It's on a spring so it'll pop back, won't roll into your turning. And uh, I haven't tried it yet so we'll uh, get a blank on there and see what happens. Stay tuned. Okay, we got our chunk of wood in the lathe. That's a piece of ash. Um, I'm just going to take a chisel and I'm going to knock off the hard corners first and then uh, we'll see what the rotor can do. Okay, knocked off the hard corners and left with something that's semi-round. Now I'm going to flash up that router and <laughs> see what happens. Stand by. Okay, taking shape. <clears throat> just starting to get the profile. And it's just working away. Following that guide at the back on the other bat. That little rod, you just move the router along and it traces the shape, contour of the other bat onto this bat. And uh, it's working good. So we'll carve a little more up.
Okay, got her roughed out pretty good. So now we're just going to take some nice, slow, fine passes and uh, match it up with the contour of the other bat. And a little sanding. Done deal. Been on it about 45 minutes, so that's a big time saver. Let's do a bit more. much it. I'm going to smooth it off with the chisels and sand it up. Well there you have it. Just over an hour from a billet of wood to pretty much a bat. A little bit more sanding and finish on it and uh, yeah I think that's just awesome. Good little machine. Just rolls along and follows the other bat that's held in the back. And what we have here is a perfect duplicate of the bat I was copying. Could be any bat. Anyway, go out and build yourself one. It's a lot of fun. Bye for now.